at a time when the healthcare space is on fire. Let me tell you about a Kramer Fave biopharma company that's transforming itself in a really profound, really positive way. Talk about Alchemy's ALKS. That's a company that specializes in drug delivery technology, which allows them to create longer acting formulas of existing medications. In short, Alchemy's makes it easier for people with diabetes, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder to make their medication regularly, okay? That's really important. And they do it with extended release injections that you might need only once a month rather than taking pills every day, which they might not want to do or stop taking. Historically, this company has been all about taking existing drugs and making them better. But lately, Alchemist has gotten into the business of developing its own compounds. They already have one on the market, Vivitrol, a once-monthly injection that helps alcoholics and opioid addicts addicts stay on the wagon. Now, just last month, Alchemy submitted a new drug application with the FDA for a long-acting version of Abilify, the multi-billion-dollar antipsychotic drug, biggest. That's about to go off patent, and this one could be a blockbuster, too. Plus, the company, which has a special focus on relieving disorders of the central nervous system, CNS, has an exciting treatment-resistant depression candidate in phase three development that's already been fast-tracked by the FDA that a lot of people are buzzing about. Now, Alchemy's reported a strong quarter at the end of October. After having a volatile year, the stock has rallied a quick 10 points in the last month. Can it keep climbing? Let's take a closer look with one of the more thoughtful CEOs that we deal with in the show, Richard Pops. He's the chairman and CEO of Alchemy. He's learned more about his business and its prospects. Mr. Pops, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you. Okay, Richard, I always feel like there's so many different things to talk about. And I've gone, I, I think we do have to start with the, uh, the NDA file for the schizophrenia drug, because it yeah. is so big. And maybe you can tell people why this gigantic franchise, this could really help the extension, and why it's so important to have a once a month formulation. What's so amazing about these psychiatric disorders is number one, their prevalence. They're, they're the major disorders that affect human suffering all around the world, depression, schizophrenia, addiction, anxiety. And the treatments, we have a lot of good medicines, but actually for, that map onto the way people live their lives, they're quite poor. So the idea of a once a month injection for a schizophrenic patient where we know reliably the patient has adequate levels of their medicine for an entire month mm -hmm. is a very powerful thing because part of the disease is patient's inability or unwillingness to take their medication every day. Or to think that they're cured. That's right. Okay, That's right. now, this, a lot of people are buzzing to me about ALKS 5461, a totally different way That's right. to approach depression for depression for people who are resistant to the current drugs. What's so special about this? Depression is one of the great burdens of disease in the world. Nature just put out a publication this last week about depression. 350 million people in the world suffer from depression. The treatments that we have, and there are many of them, are quite effective and quite safe. As you know, the SSRIs, like the right. Prozacs and the Paxils, right. but they only work for about half the patients. So there's, in the U.S., 11 million people a year go on these drugs. Right. And five million of them not, don't just fail one, they fail two. 5461, our drug, has a completely new mechanism that's going after these patients who are not getting adequate relief from the current medicines, and we're quite excited about is it. it. Is, there a is it a derivative of anything, or is it just uh, Greenfield? It's based on, on the observation that opioids can affect people's moods. But opioids ketamine? are addictive, not ketamine, no. Okay. This is, so uh, an opioid, the problem with an opioid is that it can be addictive. So what we've done with 5461 is that we've re removed the addictive potential of the opioid. Like and, an and oxycodone, you remove the... No, it's a, it's a different type, it's, an, it's a, an opioid called buprenorphine, which is a partial agonist, it's a partial oh. opioid. But we've added to it our own proprietary molecule that blocks the addictive potential. And so the net result is a medicine that has a profound effect on mood, but doesn't have any uh, addictive potential Well, this is like nothing out there. N there's nothing like it. And it's, that's why it was granted fast track by FDA. That's why, okay, I was trying to figure out yeah. why is, what is so special that it's not, it's clearly not a derivative of anything. No, it's, it's, a new, it's a new thing, but it builds on a pharmacologic foundation that's been around for 100 years. And because your specialty is, is opioid, is opiates. We understand opioid signaling in the brain, I think, as well as anybody in the world. No, I think better. I think better. Well, we're working on it. Okay, Vivitrol, how did you suddenly get uh, the numbers there after trending good, suddenly trend fantastic? What's occurred? Well, you've been on this for a long time, Jim. You saw there's such an inherent logic to the idea of using Vivitrol. It just takes forever to change current practice. And interestingly, if we give a once a month injection to somebody who is addicted to opioids, you can't give it to somebody who's actively addicted to their opioid. They have to be detoxed and make a commitment to being drug free. And not every opioid addict wants to be drug free, but for those who do, this is a very powerful medicine because they, they detox, they get this injection once a month, and they cannot reestablish physical dependence well, on the opioid. How about those who have to, those who are getting out, the recidivists, the people that, that the state does not want back in prisons? 
this is a huge opportunity for Vivitrol because the criminal justice system isn't fully supportive of the use of drugs like methadone or suboxone, right. which have street value and can be addictive themselves. Vivitrol is logical there because instead of keeping people incarcerated for being addicts, we should release them with medicine on board to prevent relapse to their opioid right. dependence. Well, one last question. Is it time for an Irish company to make an acquisition in America or you got your hands full? Our pipeline is so rich right now. You don't need and, to think of it. You know, I think, I think we'll just, our job is to do what we're doing now responsibly and get to the finish line. I think everybody will be better off. Well, I think they're going to. You've done remarkable work. That's Richard Pops, Chairman CEO of Alchemy's. Guys, there's a lot of very easy, there's a presentation from November 2014 about important medicines. Just go look at this before you buy so you know exactly how exciting Alchemy's really is. Mad Money's back into the break.